Good morning, kitty. I was going to say that that cat is like a statue. It just didn't move. And then, of course, I put the camera in front of his face, and he's like, Sup? This is just so weird. I was thinking about this this morning. The sun, which you can't see it now, it's like up like that high in the sky. This is just a, such a huge transition from getting up when it's still dark outside. I feel like I'm late. I'm not. Troy's missing it. There's a squirrel. An actual squirrel right in the yard. Can't stop looking at it. All right, we have fast forwarded, well not we, you, I have fast forwarded you guys through the work week. Oh, the work day. I can't get ahead of myself. And so we're on the way home. Um, I want to show you the closet. Remind me to show you the closet because I forgot to show you last night and there's progress on it. So it's it's just about done. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You ready, Phoenix? Ready? Oh my gosh, look how many bubbles are everywhere. <laughs> that crow right there is attempting to get that squirrel. Watch, he's after him. Get the squirrel, crow! Wow! <laughs> wow, I'm glad I just caught that. I just caught that on, on film or digital media. That's what it is, digital media. That was kind of cool. Phoenix, run! <laughs> a little birdie told me that somebody was waiting for me in the in the front yard. Look at that. He's like, oh, daddy, look at that. Hit reverse. And, and he's like, what? Is that daddy? Is he going to get out of the truck? Is he going to get out? <gasps> Who's that? Watch this. Oh my gosh. If you guys have kids, you know how much of a joy this really is. I'm recording you. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm recording you, recording me, recording you, and him. And bubbles. <laughs> lots and lots of bubbles. Wow. That's a lot of bubbles. Oh, you got a bubble thingy. I got like two or three of them. <laughs> Hi, baby. Can you pound it? Give everybody a high five. There you go. Point at him, poke him in the eye. Give me a high five. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Feedback. Would that be funny if they were microphones? Oh, yeah, you should, you should like, you should like have all of them on like crack. I mean like get all of them and do all of them at the same time, just have bubbles all over the place. I had them all, they were all floating there, they went across his feet there, the guy's doing the lawn over there going, what the hell? The guy's doing the lawn? Well, they're gone. You, you, you covered his eyes, right? <laughs> Just got changed and everything, and and I've been you know going through my my after work routine. And Lori Lee's like, oh, I've got this really funny or this story to tell, and then she's kept she keeps starting to tell it. I'm like, okay, hold on, let me just grab the camera so that we can do this and get it over with. Okay, dun dun dun, dun. you're black now. Your transition, you need to Whoa. be. <laughs> let me out! Let me out! So Phoenix is in the shopping cart, you know, at the grocery store, and. We're walking, and this lady was walking towards us, and she had like some kind of weird sundress on, no bra. She was like an older lady, so the boobs were all hanging down to here and everything. <laughs> and her hair was all ratty, and man, did she smell bad. And you know how he's always turning around and looking behind us, so as I'm going forward, he's looking at in the direction. So he saw her, and she looks at him, she's like, Oh, he's so cute. Can I touch him? Just like that. And I was like, um, he doesn't really like strangers. 
Oh, no, no, just watch. All oh, kids like me. Oh, God. <laughs> it sounds like creeper status. Oh, my God. Ah. And so she goes like this. And she goes like this. And she's like going like this. And the baby's going <laughs> like this. And I'm like, maybe you should stop. He's a little creeped out. <laughs> and she's, Including the mother. Yeah. Yeah. And then she goes like this. Like this. It touches his cheek. And he's like. <laughs> and he looks at me like this. And then she goes. Can I kiss him? Oh my god. I said, um, no, that would be weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> and I just took off. Wow. Oh my god, I'm just still creeped out. And, and, and Look, it, it, she's even got the, the, the foot thing <laughs> going up. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I said, you know what? I am so not putting him in daycare. He, I am staying home with him until he goes to preschool. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is to it. I don't. I don't think he objects. Wow. That just creeped me out because I'm like, she looked like she. she oh, she just reminds me of one of JD's old daycare providers. <laughs> she had this four-year-old, four-year-old girl in the daycare who was still wearing diapers. Wow. I'm like, just no, just no, no. <laughs> He's fascinated. He's like, <laughs> Phoenix, phone home. Ouch. <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> oh, well, funny story. Yeah. It's still creeped out. <laughs> she got, she got the, the hands Can going. Can I kiss him? Wow. No. <laughs> that creeps me out. God, eggs stink. <laughs> God. I so want somebody to invent smell vision Where's Willy Wonka when you need him? But they taste good, though. They taste good in macaroni salad. Yeah, well, and they also don't smell good coming out the other end. Yeah. I'll see, for all of you guys that like to look at little details or whatever, it's 546. I was supposed to have it done a long time ago, but uh, the baby kept distracting me and Jade and giving us squirrels. <sighs> oh, oh, um, I saw a squirrel get chased by a crow today and I got it on, on video a little bit of it that's funny because um, I had to run in your office and get the camera because the first thing I recorded was a squirrel in the front yard was it getting chased by a squirrel uh... the crow was on the other side of the fence really yeah it, he was by your little Charlie Brown tree out there wow maybe it's like a yeah uh, uh, maybe the, it's the, the revenge of the crows for the squirrels <laughs> they've got this huge beef like the squirrels like pissed off the crows for some reason yeah, and, and then when I was blowing the bubbles out there, I noticed there's a big nut out there on the little bench just in front of the window. So one of them missed it. Man, I've got a dirty mind. <laughs> I hate it when crows miss their getting their nuts. <laughs> or squirrels miss getting their nuts. Whatever. Oh, I ruined it now. Vlog note supplemental. Look outside, guys. Isn't that cool? And even this doesn't do it justice. So it's dark all through here. We've got kind of stormy skies. And then we've got like just the Bob Ross highlights up there. It's kind of kind of freaking pretty. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. And and Phoenix is inside. He's like, wait a second, why is everybody outside and I'm inside? This is not proper baby etiquette. Is that how you say that word, etiquette? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mario coin now. Ching ching. <laughs> Closet update because you guys know if, if you just joined us the closet is what determines if we start Halloween projects So this needs to get done first this piece the centerpiece which was um, Attached or was not attached the other day It has now been attached and I'm just gonna let you let him tell you Exactly if you guys understood that um, it wasn't attached yesterday. It is now attached, and it's got varathane on it. And I put another coat of varathane on those right there. So I know this is oh so interesting, but we're getting done. So my next uh, point of business is to take this piece and create legs for there, there, and there to support that outer little corner there. We're gonna do some relaxing before I have to start editing and do COC. But we're gonna go watch Cosmos because we recorded it from last week. We just haven't watched it yet. That's my boy. In case you guys haven't met him, his name's Phoenix. 
That's my boy. Future Hunter, right here. Did you guys know that the Crypt Keeper, John Casser, is going to be at Crypticon this year? That's going to be so cool. The freaking Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt is going to be at Crypticon this year. So hopefully we'll get an interview with him. I'm looking excited. I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited. There we go. Trying to get it out. All right, guys. It is time for another episode of Cock commenting on comments. Little Giles noticed during cock that you were sporting Phoenix's hairstyle. LOL. I laugh out loud too because I had just taken a shower and I didn't comb what's left of my hair. I don't know why I'm doing this. That Barb girl. I used a bubble fogger in my Han and she puts a link here to show it to us too. So that's really cool. Thank you for doing that. A bubble machine that makes bubbles with fog inside. When you pop them or they hit the ground you get a poof of fog. That is really cool. I did not know they did that. That makes sense, though. You just had the fog blowing instead of, like, air blowing. So, that should be... We, we could do that. We could reproduce that. Borg X 2679 I do envy you for the view you guys have there. Tell Keith I said, What's up? Okay, I will do that the next time that I see him. Spooky Norse. Do you want to go for a ride on the ferry? Isn't that the ferry that goes to the prison island? Yes, it is. I really love your guys' conversations. <laughs> Thank you. You know, until you put it there in that little paragraph, I didn't realize what we had said, so I just realized it now. That's pretty cool. Viva Tall Vegas. Keith did better than I did, sorry. They actually have a black light reactive bubble solution you can use in those machines too, but I've never seen one in a haunt. Oh, and Keith! You know, that's really cool because... Tarkus Head said, We're wondering if bubbles used sparingly and with the right lighting could give the effect of orbs in a haunt. And with what you just said, if you were to do the black light on it too, that would be pretty cool. Or black light responsive stuff. Jordan Winton confirms what you said. You guys feel free to talk to each other in the comments. It, one of the things I actually like now is Google. You can like reply to the comments and start like mini conversations. So if you guys want to use the vlogs to have like a conversation down the comments, pfft. Go for it. That would be freaking badass. And because I haven't mentioned the contest, that would probably actually give you like more like points or get you higher up on the thing because of uh, uh, what does YouTube look at? Um, engagements because you're engaged. Jordan Winton, um, and this is... You guys see how I just get distracted with squirrels? Firm saying that with the right lighting, you can get a cool orb effect out of one with fog. So there you go, it can be done. Uh, Lisa A, we've used a bubble fogger for years, and you also mentioned the black light bubbles, that is really, really cool. Ooh, I wonder what lasers and bubbles would do. That would be something cool to just mix them all up together, that'd be really neat. Adam Owens, how long of drive is it to the airport in Seattle from you? Uh, this summer I could be taking a flight to Alaska with a layover there. Um, it's about 45 minutes, so it's not too terribly far, so yeah, I'd be down for that. That'd be kind of cool. Trish Redding, who just got through busting out a bunch of awesome ass tombstones, actually last month. Um, on the East Coast, we get to watch the sunrise over the ocean. And that's really awesome. I am going to go and edit this up so that you guys can see it tomorrow, which is today. Vlog time continuum. Don't ask me how it works. I haven't figured it out yet. Tomorrow, Saturday, last day of work. Awesome. So we'll see what this weekend brings. We'll see what tomorrow brings, but we'll see what tomorrow brings tomorrow. And I'm going to end this now. Happy hunting. <laughs> see, it's just creepy when you can see me do the voice, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha! Did you like what you saw? Oh, you did? Oh, go ahead and subscribe.